Okay, this is the Creative Memory gift box punch board. Uh, this comes as one unit. The side does fold out to make a 12 inch um, scoring groove here. You have a diagonal groove here. Um, your guides uh, for this box, it's a two and a half by two and a half by two and a half for bath bombs. So what you'll do is print out your sheet, um, eight and a half by 11 if you wanted the printed um, template that I put in the group. Um, those end up basically like this. I've got a panel with the item name, my logo, the weight and ounces. Then if you turn, I have instructions and all the warnings. It's a slippery tub, don't eat it, don't put it in your orifices because people are weird. Over here I have ingredients, I have my little logo, uh, contact information, where to find me on Facebook, etc. This side I kind of played around with some ideas. You could put any marketing great ideas. Um, I put what the outside color of the bomb is, what the inside embeds color. Um, I just put inside hidden colors, red, orange, yellow, what fragrance it is. And then for the features, since I do some that are foaming, fizzing, some are bubble bath ones, some have embeds, some don't, um, anything like that. I've got a little checkbox thingy so that somebody shopping could easily see what it is. Um, just to check our full line of soaps, blah, blah, blah. The bottom has my batch number. For my batch number, I always use the year it was made, then the month, then the date. So this is... Uh, 161102, so it was November 2nd when I made the bomb. Um, batch number one, or two, three, four, whatever. Um, I do, because my business um, donates money and instruments to middle school and high school bands, I put a notice on here. Um, you know, you can help us out by donating your old trumpet that you haven't played in 15 years since it's just sitting in the garage or basement. I hope it's not in the garage. Um, and keep music in the schools. So you could put any kind of coupon code you want. Um, you can leave it blank. Not a big deal. The top has a latch. Um, and this has a punch on here to do this latch. And it's just a basic... Um, little tongue and groove hook and that just goes here. Now I did make this one out of paper. I kind of regret it. Um, I wish it was a little beefier. I could put a piece of cardstock in the bottom and maybe even one over the bomb just to kind of firm it up. After I did it, um, I played around with some, this is actually a two-sided scrapbook cardstock and it's not real heavy cardstock but it's not thin paper and this was a uh, printed on both sides just plain box and what I'm gonna do with this one and for anybody who doesn't have word or doesn't want to mess around with these panels you can easily make a um, wrap for it kind of a cigar band same principle as a cigar band and it can just fold right around there's enough tab to glue. If you use an 8.5 by 11 sheet landscape, you can fit three on easily. And then, you know, if somebody wants to gift it and doesn't want that on there, their choice, not ours, they can slide it off, wrap it with a bow. You can decorate these with really cute little things. Um, playing around with it, I made one. Uh, this is a really firm cardstock. It's kind of like the old French wallpaper. And that's what I'm going to do in the sample. Um, these are really nice and firm. Um, that's got a bomb in it. And it's not sliding around doing anything weird. Um, these would be really great for shipping them. I'd be afraid to ship the one made out of just regular scrapbook paper. And I did have an incident where I printed on the wrong side. So I have one that's white. And it has the pink on the inside. It's kind of a surprise cute pop of color. And I'm loving this one. Um, so to make these, here's a little sample of the tiniest box it makes. This is a one and three quarter inch. Each side is one and three quarter inch. Cute little out of just craft, which would be a nice little sample box even. And they unfold 
and you can kind of see how it goes together. Um, these are our angle scores folds right up together. And you could even do something cute printed in here with a coupon or a kid's game or something. And then that just latches right back up. And you don't have to use the latch. You can absolutely uh, tape them or use a sticker label. Cute little something. Uh, I've seen ones where they used a brad nail and made a hole and put a ribbon through it. So I'll be right back to make these.